I begin, um, Secretary Nick, if you could please um, message um, to Mr. 27K for the PSG. Thank you. All right. We'll begin with the um, updates from every department. Let's begin starting on my right, the Executive Secretary. Do you have any updates for us today? Go ahead. the honors code, Mr. Secretary. Thank you. Is that all? Thank you for the updates. Secretary Caliber, if you may. I am aware that you are experiencing um, some technical difficulties, so um, take as much time as you want, all right? Good afternoon. Yes. Ah, uh, good. Very good work. All right, excellent. We'll discuss the rest later on. Secretary Freud. Good afternoon. I am too lazy to type, so I will be speaking in voice. At the moment, the primary developments that are occurring concerning foreign affairs are occurring apropos the two United Nations that we were part of, namely EUN and SUN. At the moment, Sparky's United Nation has grown defunct and has already gone. For a short period of time, it became RNN, I believe, Roblox Network of Nations, Roblox Nation Network. Then it reverted back to UN, then it decided to collapse again, which is precisely the reason why we left. And, oh, voice changing, yes. And after which we, uh, we expressed our desire to join the former UN that we were in because of trusted information. 
that they have quote learned as we have seen in our ASEAN meeting which in which you were part of Mr. Brett. So yes, as of, of the course. moment we are making efforts to do that. Yes. That is essentially most of it. Thank you. Secretary Parliamentarian, if you may. Hello, good afternoon. Ah, uh, good. Thank you very much. Secretary Nick. Can you hear my mic? Yes, you are audible. Okay, I will be presenting a PowerPoint for you today. Wow. It's it's short. Thank you. I need I need to fix it. So okay. we'll we'll skip you for now. Um, Secretary Tony, is your are you, are your things already fine? Uh, Secretary Tony, are you all right? Yes, Tony, are you all right? Has it been resolved? If not, Sige. let's move on to Maddie first. Secretary Mati, you may. Hello. It's quite all right. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Mm 
I see. Thank you, Mr. Secretary XO 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 X. Thank you. XO, my apologies. Mm hmm Very good. Very nice. Unfortunately, I'm not very confident in my voice, so... It's quite alright. Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. to announce to both the media and the general public that this June 2021, we will be having the second PHL Expo. Once again, we will be having the Second PHL Expo. It is our aim to showcase the genius of our members, of our companies, and even of our government agencies. But that's not all. For the first time, in PHL history, we will be inviting foreign companies to take part in this expo. We will coordinate with the DFA and DFE about this, and it is our hope that this will in increase employment and showcase our showcase who we are to the entire world this will take place around mid to late june we will and will make details public as they become available. For now, I would like to instruct all those present here today to inform their agencies, attached offices and the like, and other such entities who wish to take part. That is all for now. Secretary Nick, is your thing, is your, are you experiencing any technical difficulty? 
Okay, um, let me proceed to my presentation. Please go ahead. Ah, uh, yes. Can you see it? It's um, a white screen. What now? There. Now it's now we can see it. Very good. Um, so this will be a short briefing about the national economy. Uh, Back to life. For another day, but I think this is a better opportunity. Of course. You uh, may proceed. For this um, basic knowledge for the structure of the department, uh, yours truly as a secretary. My apologies. For it's the, still um, white. It's a white screen. Uh, okay. Hold. Um. Okay, it's still a white screen. It's all right. You may just send us the PowerPoint later on. Please proceed with your um. Okay, I'll just um be speaking the details. I think it's more convenient that way. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm offering the document. So basic knowledge for the structure of the department. Um you're surely as a secretary reporting to uh, President Wayne Magno, reporting to him. Um mm -hmm. Assistant Secretary George and uh, the spokesperson William. Okay. So, first agenda, the status on laws, a new laws of the DFE is concerned. Uh, signed by the President, just newly, the Republic of Number 19, the Philippine Stock Exchange Act of 2020, and the uh, Republic of Number 22, the Swindling Prevention Act. Uh, for bills transmitted to the Senate, the House Bill Number 7, Securities Act of 2021. Those are the laws of the DFA's jurisdiction. For um, starting up the Philippine Stock Exchange, for today, we just conducted our first bell ringing of the Philippine Stock Exchange. Um, and its system, the DFA secretary shall automatically become the president of the Philippine Stock Exchange and companies eligible for listing are registered corporations and conglomerates. Uh, more details will be released soon. Now, for the business sector of the Philippines, uh, we are proud to announce that we have achieved tremendous growth in the business sector of the Philippines since the beginning of the Rolag for Water Trade Restriction. Um, I will send a chart. Thank you. Um, because it explains more. Where would so, it be said? I mentioned. Thank for you. The sector, Legitimate registered businesses. Actually, we record. We haven't recorded much. Um, I don't have an exact list, but I recognize some businesses are legitimate, and some have only received the uh, uh, the role without proper listing. Mm -hmm. Then at March, that ended the past administration. Then the new administration. The month of April experienced a 200% growth, and in the half of May, as of May 15, experienced a 42.9% growth. Mm -hmm. um, exact numbers. Um, let's move to the global, uh, the gross domestic product. Mm -hmm. For the gross domestic product, um, in terms of for March, it was recorded 7%. Then at April, it bounced to 102%, 9.0. Then in June, oh wait, sorry, May, uh, correct that there, 9.4%. Very good. So, um, I'm expecting those numbers to rise even more throughout the entire month, throughout the entire term. And mm -hmm. in summary, our economy goes boom, boom. Excellent ending. 
And yes, for the new office, you've already toured it. And we hope you've enjoyed the tour, the bell ringing, and we hope you felt like you were at home. Of course. We are very pleased with this estate, with this. So that's all I could report for today. Um, for this meeting, I hope I have more to report in the next meeting. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. Secretary Tony, you may. Um, text is perfectly all right. You may proceed. Of course, please just use text if you will, if, if, if it allows. All right, another PowerPoint, very good. Well, Yes, this is very nice. You may proceed. If you wish, I may read it for you, Secretary. I will read whatever is in the um, thing. Would you Would you be amenable to that? Okay, I will. I. Sige, I will read it. Sige, I will read it. All right. DOTR employees, totally from Mr. Security Cop is the assistant secretary with JFU as the spokesperson. Very, very nice. Now we will talk about the aviation sector. Lipad na tayo, mga B. Now we have a list of local airports to be made. Number one is Sangley Airport, then Lubang Airport, and then Mam Mamburao Airport, and then Baler Airport, mm -hmm. Vegan Airport, yes, and as we see here, we can we have mapped out the airports and they are concentrated in the Luzon and North Visayas region. All right. Now, intangible assets, assets projects. Number one, there will be a never-ending connection between and Malaysia through the Open Skies Agreement. We will be making a Philippine and Indonesia Skies, free skies Agreement through the upcoming Open Skies Agree Agreement. Making the Air Passengers Bill of Rights together with the DFE. All right. Very good. Let's move on. Number four, the Public Service Obligation. And number five, the AAP Bill, which will be filed with the House of Representatives. Very good. This is very promising. Now, we'll be also be making civilian aircraft. The... Yes, this the aircraft industries LET L410G, General Dynamics Do Dornier 228NG. Very good. The Britain Norman BN2 Islander for the Coast Guard, the Gulf Stream G280 for the P Philippine Air Force, and the Indonesian Aerospace NC212I. Then the Cessna 150M for the Philippine Police. Very good. Now we have the following registered airlines. Number one, Philippine Airlines by GGGFU, Flightero Air Airways by Sexitari, and Ro North Airlines by Roblox Lewis 2008. Very good. These are very good numbers. Okay. Open Skies Agreement with Malaysia is in its drafting stage. Sangli Airport is in construction. Aircraft Industries, LETU, etc. is in assembling. 
and so is the Gulf Stream, the CAAP will be written by the Secretary, and airlines registered in DFE but not registered in DOTR will be called on by the Secretary. Very good. Now for the road sector. Road trip na tayo, mga biyahero na ni Drew. So we are going to be making some road infrastructure. Number one, Skyway, stages one and one, and the Paranaque Integrated Exchange Terminal, which will be discussed with the Cavitex community, which we have just partnered with very recently. So partnerships, number one, Cavitex community. And then we will be also making certain road transportation that may be added in city buses. Improved taxis, modern jeeps, and tricycles. Very nice. Rail, oh my, railway sectors. Laro na tayo mga subway server. List of infrastructure. Number one, the existing LRT. Rehabilitated with discussion with the developers. Okay. Uh, we hope to have the Philippine Railway Project by Toots Boy. Mm -hmm. It's one of our partnerships. And now for the maritime sector, Layag Natayo Mga B. The list of seaports is the port of Pio Duran in Albay, the port of Claveria Masbate. Yes, and that's it. Thanks, folks, from the report from, from the DOTR. Very good, uh, Mr. Vice President. Or discuss with the rest of the cabinet and to the public. Mr. Uh, yes, of course, of course. Um, feel take your time. Mr. President, if I may interject for a few seconds, I would like to bring two points of order. The first point of order is a moment of respect for the priest who has intruded our doors. And the second point of order is for the utter beauty of that PowerPoint presentation added by your reading of it. Thank you, Mr. President. You humble us greatly, Mr. Secretary. We are more... Yes, we are most amused by your compliments. We are most amused. It's oh, it's perfectly all right, Tony. It's perfectly all right. Don't worry. Anyways, we'll just wait for for the vice president, um, if he has any announcements he wishes to make to the public and to cabinet. Hello. Yes, you are heard, Mr. Vice President. Okay. Very good. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, Mr. President, and good afternoon, uh, everyone. Um, apologies, but I'll be leaving soon uh, after this due to personal matters which require my immediate attention. I'm currently cooperating with the Executive Secretary with regards to the reform proposal, which will be sent to Congress and then to the PHL administration team. Aside from that, I am currently drafting up plans with regards to increased non-political interaction with the ASEAN, which I will be sending to you and the Department of Foreign Affairs for review and addition. My hope is that we can engage with the ASEAN's plan to implement sport events and other social gatherings to further establish organizational unity and international partnerships. Locally, I will soon be taking on a chief of staff for the office of the vice president and will be working with this individual in establishing the mandates of the office as well as the screening of potential staff. In addition to this, and finally, I am currently reaching out to some Filipino content creators I know with the hopes that they may affiliate their respective establishments and institutions with PHL's business sector and participate in the upcoming convention. Uh, that will be all for me. Thank you. I, I would also like, we would like to add, Ra we would like to add um, that we have just appointed two new Associate Justices of the Supreme Court as per the um, order of the political commission. Um, hopefully, this will allow a further revival of the judiciary. I would, we would also like to um, wish the bar takers a very good luck 
as they take the bars this weekend. Yes, please don't screw it up. Thank you. Yes. Good luck to them. And you are all in our prayers and thoughts. Now then, we will now proceed to the private, um, the private um, thing, the private. Yes, Mr. Secretary Exo. Yes, we have two bricks, Yank, and several others, and several other Filipinos. Also, I'm um, Secretary XO. You may do a, a press briefing after the closed doors meeting. Um, if you know, if you if you notice, um, across, um, in the other side of this building, there is a briefing room. You may brief them there if you wish. All right. Is that okay, Secretary? Let me type in. Okay. Balak, okay. Sige. We will now be proceeding to the closed doors um, version. I mean, space. Let us head to the um, Malacanang channel. Thank you. Thank you. Admin siguro, admin. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang maging